Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> Isn't she? Sit right here for you. What did this one mean to, to bookend your career with bragging rights victories? Oh, uh, it's special. Um, you know, me and Monte had a talk before this game. You know, it was one of you know the extra games on our on our schedule. You know, we had to bring it back to Champaign this year. You know, like you said, like our last time. You know, our opportunity. You know, to bring the trophy back. You know, it was you know it was a lot, it was special to be out there tonight. You know, and uh, you know, give credit to my team. You know, they came out here and fought. You know, one through fifteen. You know, all tonight. You know, that everyone came in, did their job. And you know, I couldn't be any happier. Kofi, to be a part of this win in such a convincing manner, what's that like to be able to help Trent Devante go out with the win that they said is pretty important to them? It's incredible, man. Um, this is what I play, you know. Um, when you get bonds like this that, that I have with Trent and Monte, um, it makes you kind of like owe it to them um, to give them this opportunity. Um, you know, them leaving now and just knowing that they, they left off on the right track with the, the Bragging Rights game. Um, it is great, man, to see, see the smile on their faces, um, knowing that they accomplished something great. What was that feeling like walking off the floor with that in your hands? Uh, like I said, special. Um, you know, like I said, you know, we we work hard for this. You know, obviously being a part of Coach Underwood and the coaching staff for these past years. Obviously, you know, our recent years was tough, but um, I thought tonight we did a great job. You know, we fought tonight. You know, they threw some punches, but you know, we responded well, and you know, guys came in and did what they did. But you know, when that when that clock hit zero tonight, it, it, it felt special to hold that trophy up tonight. Kofi, you sat in the media room after St. Francis and said you guys weren't going to play the same way. What was the preparation like for this, and how do you feel like you executed that game plan? Um, just a lot of mental focus. Um, you know, when you play against a team like Missouri, that's going to come out and try to and try to kill you. Um, literally, um, you know, you just have to be mentally locked locked in. Um, you can't really have too much too much mistakes. Um, you know, you got to play tougher than them. And that was just the focus. I'll toughen them, making sure that we give them one shot. Um, you know, just dial on the defensive end and knowing that we will win the game if we play really good defense. Trent, you had a breakthrough game here as a freshman, had it going again tonight. What's been what's been like playing in this atmosphere that's brought out some of the things you accomplished? Um, it's amazing, you know. Like I said, I, I mean, I've came I came to this university to play in these type of games, these type of environments. You know, it's fun. You know, having you know, the line of nation behind our backs. You know, screaming, cheering on us. You know, this is a fun game. Like I said, it's it's, it's special to be a part of this game, this environment. You know, and I live for these moments. You know, I have fun. You know, everyone's smiling. Having fun, so it, you know, like I said, it, you know, I love playing in these type of environments. Trent, you guys have won seven of eight since uh, that two and two start. How do you feel you guys are progressing leading into the big stretch of Big Ten play here? Uh, we're getting better. Um, it's a fight in practice every day. Um, you know, Chris and Brake, um, you know, we've gotten a lot better, you know, individual and as a team. You know, we've been working hard. You know, it's a bloodbath in practice every day, you know. Uh, scout team's giving us a look, you know, um, they're competing with us every day, making us better. You know, that's what it's about. You know, guys that's not getting limited, uh, a lot of minutes, you know, they're making us better. You know, they're not pounding or, you know, soaking, you know, worried about themselves. They're worried about the team, you know, and we're getting a lot better, you know, and um, I'm happy for, I'm happy for this team. Kobe, can you walk us through that one-handed dunk down the lane there? What was that like for you? It was incredible, man. You know, um, it was a moment, momentum that we had, you know, um, Trying to hit a couple of threes, um, you know, getting getting those stops. It was just like adrenaline, I think, like you know, just coming down the middle. Like it felt really good. I'm enjoying it in the moment. It's gonna be a lot more of those. Trent, after you the last time you were subbed out, Coach Underwood and you embraced in a pretty big hug. What was that moment like for you to know that you want it, but also to share it with them? <clears throat> um, he's been my guy since day one. Um, he's always had my back, uh, vice versa. You know, I, you know, I, I took on the challenge to be just like him every time I step on the court. You know, he's always fighting for us. So, you know, whenever I step in between those lines, I go out there, you know, do what he asks me to do. Uh, doesn't matter the assignment. And, you know, I just, you know, try to take on, you know, what his identity of, you know, what he want this, you know, this team, this program to be about. And um, that's that's just all. That's what I'm about. You know, I'm, I'm, about, I'm with him and I'm, I'm, I'm never going to stop doing that. Kofi, how is this team different, if at all, from the team that started two and two outside of injuries and all that? Are they different from what? D yeah. the starting two and two, you guys seem to have hit your stride. Um, I think it's just confidence now. I feel like we're, we're gelling more. Um, our chemistry has been really good, and like Trent said, we compete every day in practice. You know, and when, when you have guys that sacrifice so much in practice every day, fighting us and pushing us to get better, 
um, you know, that trust and that bond that we create, you know, like, it, it, it just makes us want to go out there and, and give it our best, you know, and giving it all our effort every day for God next to us. And I think it's just the bond that we have, man, just elevating each other, um, you know, making, emphasizing the, um, the extra pass, you know, um, telling the guy a good job, you know, patting him on the back when he does a good job, or keep holding somebody's head up when they make a mistake, you know what I'm saying? It's just uh, holding each other accountable and just loving each other, that's it. Um, I think it's just like you said, it's confidence. You know, I tend to go on those little heaters, um, where you know I feel like I won't miss a shot. But um, you know, um, like I said uh, earlier, I mean, I gotta give credit to you know Jake, you know, and those other guys, Kofi and them. They set unbelievable screens. You know, obviously with you know. You know, um, teams, you know, trying to, you know, force me out, out of the, um, into the paint. Uh, it's hard for me to shoot a three sometimes. So those guys, you know, hitting me open, um, that's that's how I get my open look. So, um, like I said, I, I tend to get all those heaters, and, you know, it feels it feels great. Kofi, with the, the guards knocking down a bunch of threes the last couple of games, what, what's that do for you inside? Are, are you facing more one-on-one -on -one opportunities? Well, not necessarily. I mean, you know, it's, um, when you got guys like Trent and Plummer, um, you know, knocking down threes, it makes it harder for them to double. So um, now I'm, I'm more focused on like being alert and making my own faster. Um, the doubles gonna come regardless. It's just about making the right play. Um, you know, um, growing um, mentally, knowing that you know if you drive the ball, and you see the double coming, make the right play, don't force up a bad shot. You know what I'm saying? So the doubles gonna always come. When you have those guys making threes, it makes it harder because guys are hesitant. Trent, tell me about at the end of the half that little kind of MJ shrug. That was only after your second three that you kind of. Know the night you're gonna have. Um, like I said, I love these type of environments. You know, um, when it's these type of games, you know, I kind of love, you know, enjoying the moment, having fun. You know, I kind of always, you know, started doing that back in two two years ago, where I just get on the heater and I just start, you know, doing the MJ strut. So that's just kind of my thing, where you know, you know, it's showtime. You know, uh, when I get hot. So that is kind of funny that you asked that, but um, yeah, that's just something I do when I get hot. You know, and I, and I know it's, you know, I'm about to get going. This is the last one for the players to be a coach. Kobe, what was the feeling like the last, I guess, two years for you leaving here with this loss? How do you think this will be different for the next five days? Um, it, it was, I'm um, feeling in the past three years, it was horrible. I remember, I remember crying on the bus back, um, you know, and just having a horrible plane ride back home, just thinking about everything that happened and how could it change the game. I think this year, um, Obviously, the circumstances are different, different, and I'm way more happy right now. I think I'm going to have a really good flight back home. I'm going to enjoy time with my family, and I'm going to be ready to come back with these guys and do it again. I love these guys, man. I love playing with them.